trust her? With my life, Captain. <clears throat> ah, hello! Name's Amanda. You must be the Captain. Now, what's all this about, then? You stride into my bar off the piss and looking for officers. Days later, I start hearing whispers the ghost of the North Seas stalks the Atlantic again. The Aquila has returned, and I need her help. Nicholas Biddle now sails for the Patriots, captaining the Randolph. But the man is raiding up and down the coast round Nantucket, claiming it's a loyalist post. Where is he now? Speak of the devil. Head below deck, Mandy. It's safer there. I want to see this myself. a merchant vessel not far from here. Your orders. All hands to the battle supporters, men! We need to find battle out what Biddle is but we must sale. hurry. What else do you know of Biddle? All of a sudden, Congress has a brand new ship for him to captain. From British coxswain to captain of a colonial flagship, something doesn't add up. Heavy gust, Captain! Hard counter! Half sail! That wind will push us hard up those rocks! Veer off! Get me everything! Full sail! Half sail! There's a storm coming, Captain. Feels like a big one.
company who keeps Watch telling me the true reason lies elsewhere. to deal with this rabble. But this storm concerns me a great deal more. We have little choice. Give me the I'm in the way, sir. Then we must fire. find shelter, or it won't be cabin fire that ends us. I've never seen weather like that. It's rare, but it happens. You did well. What's bothering me is Biddle's a patriot now. Why is he helping the British Navy like that? Old friends, maybe? Well, how would you convince the Continental Congress the Navy needs more ships? If the rash of British raiding the coast is reason enough to address the gripe. Gunboats at the vineyard, now this. Hmm. Biddle aims to be the first admiral of the Colonial Navy and is making a case for the need. That was some deft sailing, Captain. I was watching from the gun deck. What were you doing on the gun deck? I told you to stay out of harm's way. I'm fine, Bobby, not to worry. The people of Nantucket are surely grateful. And so am I. Glad you're back. 